A local public official commits an offense if the official knowingly violates this section, section 171, which requires the public official to file an affidavit, affidavit stating the nature and extent of the interest and that public official shall abstain from further participation in the matter if the action on the matter will have a special economic effect on the business entity. Alderman Rupertus, who owns West End Maintenance, is doing the beach signage and dune fencing at an awarded cost of $22,110.46. Clearly a special economic effect on the business entity. This project is included in the overall budget and I would like to state my objection if Alderman Rupertus votes on this year's budget. Or if he does vote on the budget, as he did last year while doing work for the city, I would like an explanation on why our city and Alderman Rupertus is exempt from this local government code. Okay, thank you. Sure. Uh, that was it. Uh, next item will be uh, report from directors. Well, I'll go ahead. We go. If y'all are riding around town, you see things happening. You see things getting cleaned up. You're seeing uh, just many, many things or projects that are working on right now. Uh, I mean, bas go, go look at the park. It's, be it's clean and basketball is always up and there's more to be said about that later. Uh, we are having, uh, our, we're gonna have, you're gonna see some beautification without spending a lot of money. We're gonna have to, we're getting ready to paint the parking lots. Here it's going to be uh, one of those pristine things. Uh, we have potholes going on in the war. And if you can listen, folks, I get you. I get your complaints. Okay? And this is today. I get the complaints. And we're working them out. Okay? We only have one crew out here working on potholes. But we're going to get to you eventually. Just be patient with, with us. If you just, if y'all were complaining about about the cable, the, the Xfinity cable that was on the beach, after call, after call, after call, it's done. Okay, okay. So we're the, the squeaky wheels get a little oil. I mentioned to somebody earlier that, or, or last week that I was crawling. Now I'm walking around here, getting to know a little bit more. I still have three months of work to catch up on, but it's getting done. And that's what I have to say today, sir. Thank you, Ross. I've got a couple of things. <clears throat> um, finally made contact with uh, Catherine Overback Maxwell, the auditors. Was not going to hang out until I spoke to the lady. They are coming December the 5th to start our audit. I'm looking at starting our audit, <coughs> so that's the check. Um, <clears throat> meeting with uh, Civic Plus and the attorneys to finalize the Civic Plus to get our ordinances on them. Website, hopefully the 27th, that's our final call. The Civic Plus is put it off to the 27th. Um, <clears throat> to get a microphone here, which has been requested to get one, we're going to have to buy a total new microphone box that somebody can your desk. I don't know what that's involved in. It's not even more random to put another microphone. <clears throat> so that's something I'll, make. I'll get a price when it costs me. I'll make a site on um, I just kind of gave, I got George to give me a couple numbers just so you know you do have a new prosecutor and you do have a new judge. Just in the last month on that collected fines, um, she collected over, about at $33,000, which is a big jump for what they've normally been collecting month to month. Just to give you a little talk, just, just as the end of, of, of today, um, Property tax were at eight hundred and eighty-five thousand eight hundred dollars and fifty-eight cents. High tax through today, and I know Nola's got something we've not posted. Um, seven hundred eighty-one thousand seven hundred fifty-one dollars and six cents. Just to give you that. Okay. Next, Council, uh, please support another report. Okay, thank you. Uh, Comments and reports from 
last Saturday, I attended the West Galveston Island Property Owners Association and um, videotaped the meeting, plus put it on my Facebook page, the Jamaica Beach Reporters, and on YouTube. So that's two hours of very important information. They had um, the Galveston Park Boards of Trustees came in and spoke about um, volunteer appreciation, update on the beach nursery projects, and updates on trash, beach ambassador program, <coughs> and leave no trace. I also talked with um, Kelly Deshawn, and we're gonna have a meeting to go over what they're doing and see if we can put some of it, some to good, their homework to good use here, and she's totally on board with that. Um, the next meeting is October 22nd, and um, um, Congressman Randy Weber will be in attendance. So that might, it might be something you might want to be here. And uh, Terry Leo Wilson, thanks so much for coming to our city council. I spent the day with her and her husband Dave, and uh, they are really remarkable people. So thank you for wanting to represent us. They'll be marvelous people. I also um, um, saw this um, on the Galveston County um, Facebook page, and I want to read this to you. <coughs> Galveston County Commissioners approved the fiscal year 2023 budget this morning at a vote of four to zero. The budget reduces the county tax rate below the known new revenue rate for the 12th year in a row. The approved fiscal rate 2023 county rate is .376030 per $100 valuation, a reduction of 11.42% compared to fiscal year 2022 and 40%, 40.31% 40 since 2011. While population growth and development create new demand for services, prudent management has allowed the county to live at growth in service costs and achieve efficiencies to keep costs down. The fiscal position of the county remains strong, and this new budget ensures the county will maintain a perfect <coughs> AAA bond rating for movie investors the public debt in Galveston County has been reduced by 49.22% since 2011, and general obligation de debt has a stable outlook. The fiscal year 2023 budget will take effect on October 1st, 2022. Thank you, Mayor. I don't have anything, Mr. Moody. Uh, we are looking for volunteers for Halloween at the park. October 29th is that the Saturday before Halloween, and so anybody who's interested, we greatly appreciate you coming out and helping. Uh, you can contact me, and I'll put you in touch with Sandy Kennedy, who leads those efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank meeting I just want to say thanks to our staff. Robert has joined our team and has got his legs under him and he has hit the ground right. The improvements around the city over the last week are exceptional. Very pleased to have him aboard. Now special kudos and a round of applause to Miss Debbie Dispit. She has gone above and beyond. <laughs> Debbie is our director of finance. However, she does everything. She does HR, she does project management, she does scheduling for appointments. I just can't say enough. Please, everybody, pat her on the back, have a good job. Tell her how thankful we are to have her with us. That's it for tonight. Thank you. Next item is a consent agenda and approval of minutes. The following items are considered routine by the city council and will be enacted in, by one motion. There will not be a separate discussion on these items unless a council member requests. In which event, the item will be removed from the general order of business and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Uh, the three items are approval of minutes from the regular city council meeting, 822 of 2022. Approval minutes from the budget workshop meeting, 822-2022 and approval of minutes from the public hearing 96 of 2022. I have a motion to vote. I'll 
make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Next items are uh, new business. We uh, making a motion to uh, table item number one, which is discussion and consideration and take action to approve ordinance number 2022-09, adopting fiscal year 2022-2023 general fund and municipal fund budgets along with <coughs> item number two, Discussion, consideration, and take action to approve ordinance number 2022-08, establish, establishing the 2022 property tax rate for the city of Jamaica Beach. Do I have a motion to table that? Motion to table. May I have a second? Yeah. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we'll do a roll call. Ms. Oliver Jones? I make a vote to table. Thank you. Order. I vote to table, Vote to table. Okay. Table. Table. Thank you. Any discussion? Uh, no. Is there any reason? Just table. Just table. Uh, okay. We'll discuss. Uh, item number three discussion, consideration, and take action to approve resolution number 2020. 2-08 authorizing the mayor to approve an agreement between the city of Jamaica Beach and John D. Mercer and Associates for the professional engineering and inspection services to go out for bids to rehab the Bayside lift station not to exceed $115,000. Do I have a motion to discuss? That's going to have to be taken because the budget is not going to be passed. Thank you. Yep. It's just three hours. Yep. Four items. Yep. Robert, does number four need to be taken? No, no, we can actually move on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to do a motion? Then? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we send that motion. Motion to a table. A motion to table approval of resolution number 22 2022 08. I have a second. Second. Do this table also. Item number four, discussion, consideration, and take action to approve the City of Jamaica Beach authorization to issue requests for proposals for administrative services, RFPs, and requests for qualifications for professional services, RFQs, for the American Rescue Plan, ARPA of 2021. Do I have a motion to discuss? I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Discussion? Uh, yes, uh, we have received $106,000 to date um, for this program. For This was the coronavirus money that came out of ARPA money. And uh, as you know, staff is overwhelmed as it is right now. We received this money and we're expecting another $200,000 uh, to come in. And once again, like I said, we're very overwhelmed. But I'd like to see about contracting this work out to a consulting firm uh, in order to do those. So we have to, and although I, I, it's a limit on how much we can use for administrative funds on this, it still needs to be uh, contracted out and RFP for professional services. And I, well, the staff is recommending that you pass this. It's within it's within the, the grant itself. Okay, well I vote yes. Well, we're not voting for it. When will we actually get the remainder of the funds? It's going to be a totally separate account that they can monitor how that's dispersed. So we're not sure. wanting to make the decision how it's dispersed and who gets what percentage of what dollar amount. So that's what it, he's asking for y'all let him go outside and pick a. A firm that can do that. You're just asking for yeah, no, 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 no,
motion and one action. Just vote. Are we ready to vote? All in favor? Okay. Uh, Thank you. Uh, next item is the mayor's uh, report. I just want to say that we have uh, we've started making some moves on the mailboxes with USPS. I've had several meetings with them. Uh, we're working out the details. Uh, we look forward to, to sharing that here sometime this week. Uh, we'll be posting it with what all is going on, but I think everybody's going to be real happy with that. I'm looking forward to it. Finally, after two years of, of dealing with Amazon and, and USPS, we're we'll probably getting to the bottom and getting the resolution done. Uh, other than that, we're going to go into executive session. It's anticipated that all or a portion of this of the discussion of the following items, if any, will be conducted in closed executive session under the authority of Texas Open Meetings Act. However, no action will be taken on these items until the city council reconvenes in open session. Closed meeting <coughs> is executive session held pursu pursuant to Texas Government Code section 551.012 to receive legal counsel from the attorneys on a matter in which the duty of the attorney to the government body under the Texas Disciplinary Rules of Professional Conduct of the State Bar of Texas clearly conflicts with the open meetings requirement. So we will go into executive session. And thanks everyone, you're welcome to hang out. We have no idea how long this is gonna take, so you're welcome to come back afterwards. Thank you. Thanks.